Hello and welcome to the 2003 edition of the Virginia Cavaliers Future Stars. Your first look at the outstanding recruits headed to Virginia. Kevin McKay, quarterback, six foot four, two oh five. Pennsylvania is famous for producing great quarterbacks, and UVA picked up one of the state's best this year. McCabe's name typically services when the top quarterbacks in the Northeast are mentioned, and he possesses a great arm, a prototypical frame, and an excellent football mind. Rivals100.com rated McCabe the number five dropback passer in the nation and one of the top 100 players in the nation regardless of position. As a senior, McCabe hit on 63% of his passes for nearly 2,200 yards and 30 touchdowns. On the field, he's a real leader who takes command of the game and demands respect from his teammates. He also comes into Virginia with a great understanding of some of the Virginia offensive nomenclature, having played a similar type of offense in high school. This is a smart young man, and this is a quarterback to watch in the future in Charlottesville. Marshall Osbury, 6'6", 330-pound offensive lineman. An intimidating blocker, Osbury was regarded as one of the top offensive linemen on Virginia's recruiting board. Rivals100.com ranked Osbury as the number 27 guard in the nation and one of the top three overall offensive linemen in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Hailing from West Springfield, Osbury was heavily courted by Virginia Tech and Marshall, receiving offers from each school before committing to the Hoos. Cunningham. Offensive line, 6'5", 300. Last year, the Virginia Cavaliers received a big contribution from DeBrickshaw Ferguson, a freshman left tackle along the offensive line. 
In 2003, Coach Grow may look to Cunningham to have a similar impact on the line. He was ranked by Rivals100.com as the number 14 offensive guard in the nation, but also has the capability to line up and tackle. For a player with such a massive frame, he moves exceptionally well, has great feet, and is very agile. Cunningham was heavily courted by Nebraska and Georgia Tech, and Oklahoma made a late push for the outstanding lineman from Texas. Coming from Plano, as one of the top players in the state, he played in the U.S. Army All-American game against the nation's top high school talent. As a senior, Cunningham graded out at an amazing 93% on the offensive line and is looking to go to UVA to go into broadcasting. Our guess is he'll be playing on Sundays, not broadcasting. Jordy Lipsy, offensive line, six foot four, two sixty seven. The two thousand and three recruiting class was a bumper crop for the Cavaliers at the offensive line. Lipsy may have been the biggest shock of the recruiting year, and with good reason. It's not every day a player picks anyone over an offer from Miami, let alone one of the nation's top overall prospects. Lipsy is an excellent center and rated the top player in the nation at his position by Rivals.com. Over the course of his entire career, Lipsy graded out near 94% and established himself as one of the top players in the state of Florida. He showed remarkable toughness by playing most of his senior season with a broken bone in his hand. Eddie Penegas, offensive line, 6'8", 285. Virginia picked up one of the top in-state offensive linemen in Penegas, who brings a wealth of size and strength to the table. Over the course of his high school career, he has earned all-state, all-region, all-district, and all-conference honors, and is a consistent performer game after game. Spurning offers from Maryland and Wake Forest, Penegas has great potential. He has the frame to carry up to 310 pounds and become a great drive blocker.
Gordy Sims. Offensive line, 6'5", 290 pounds. Samus was the fourth lineman of the Virginia 2003 recruiting class, ranked as a top 50 player at his position by Rivals 100. As one of the top offensive linemen in New Jersey, Samus heard from several Big East schools before deciding to sign with the Hoos. He has great upper body strength and uses his hands very well against defensive linemen. As a junior, Samus was named All-State, All-County, All-Area, and All-Conference. Rivals100.com ranked Samus the number 36 offensive guard in the nation. Running back, 6'2", 225. Another somewhat underrated prospect, most of you remember a guy named Jason Snelling. Think about Jason when you think about James Terry. Terry is a physical specimen with size, speed, and excellent strength for a linebacker and running back. He should fit wherever the Cavs need him, and he has the athletic capability to play several positions. As a junior, Terry rushed for more than 700 yards and 10 touchdowns while tallying more than 70 tackles on defense. Rivals100.com rated Terry the number 12 overall player in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Emmanuel Byers, wide receiver, 5'10", 170. The Cavs picked up not only some of the top talent from their own state, but went south and picked up some of the top receivers in the Tar Heel state. Byers is a quick, elusive wide receiver and impressed many schools in the Shrine Bowl. He caught 35 passes for over 500 yards and six touchdowns as a senior in High Point, North Carolina, leading him to be named All-Conference. Byers is another potential return man for Virginia, bringing back a kickoff and three punts for touchdowns as a senior. He was ranked by Rivals 100 as the number 18 overall player in North Carolina. <laughs> 